Hi, welcome to the calm waters of Arconix, right? Beautiful wallpaper. We're working on XFC Openbox i3, which is called our flagship. And everything is up to date, and we're making tutorials, tutorials about Arco Linux D. The D stands for decide what desktop you want. Arco Linux D is also a NISO, and there you have lots of information you can look into the point of the start here hey is to start here right read whatever we write in here and then <clears throat> you decide mm, let's try out article xd and install xfce with all the knowledge and articles about xfc being here as well as here articlex.com is also about the flagship plus everything else you can think about samba nvidia and whatever so Arcanlex D is all about desktops, but first you need to install something, right? To explore the articles and the knowledge we provide you, first you need to install it. And the article I'm gonna make now is not the one of Deeping that has just been refreshed. Have a look. And that's oh, it's already changed. No, no, now it's changed. I changed only this one, the wallpaper and. Um, well, the menu, if you click on the menu here, the button there, this is what you get. So it always boils down to the same things and it's not about deeping. So let's go to GNOME itself. We're going to make a video for this particular article, GNOME. As you see, it's always the same kind of template. And I like to start at the end. Why at the end? Because it's the most easy thing you can do we used to call it Superflex, we're still calling it Superflex, but it's the Arconix tweak tool. We are super flexible with it. You just enter Control Alt E, just remember that one for the tweak tool, it's gonna work everywhere. <clears throat> and that particular application is just always one click away and DWM is installed. One click away and JWM is installed anywhere even Arch Linux it's gonna work right if you have the Arch Linux 3 tool option three is install the desktop using Arch Linux B but what is this B thing this B thing stands for build it not download it build it Arch Linux B wants you to build your own ISO the Arch Linux ISO the D ISO but all the B's as well all the desktops we provide, 20 desktops, plus something special, extended, is thinking, what if we make an ISO and put all the tiling window managers on there, eight of them, and um, maybe open box, just to have a fallback. That's also quite minimal. And it's all explained in tutorials. Creation of Arcanix B Extended, YouTube series, I mean, I'm just curious. I mean, I just clicked here. I'm curious to see how many YouTube videos. I mean, that this is a abundance of knowledge. You can create your own Arcanix B extended. Give it another name, right? And you decide to put BSPWM together with um, DWM and i3. That's it. That's enough for you. You like that? With this knowledge, if you follow all this, hey, it's so simple to make your own ISO. That's the point. Build your own ISO. It's all there, the knowledge is there, all the information is there. You just need to follow a few videos and you become a master in Linux and you're in control. You make the ISO you like with the software you like. Not only with the desktops you like, but also with Bravebin, Tor Browser, uh, Visual Studio Editor, I don't know. Anything you like can go on the ISO. So immediately after rebooting, after installation everything is fine everything is as you need it to be that's the power so back here at economics b build it yourself or download it and then we have two options for Arco linux d the d is the most minimal one you can either decide and that now baby we can better boot it up right super f7 so we don't lose any time about it remove blah blah gone and then clone ALD and we are making a video about GNOME 
right? Clone. Getting the latest Arcanlinks D in, whatever version it is, boot up. Use the first line, 90% of the people. And if you don't have any luck with this first line, there is the second line. That is probably a graphical card problem. Try that one. So, <clears throat> option one, install the desktop using Calamaris. Mm. So we have this graphical user interface called Calamaris. It's not from us, but we endorse it 1000%, right? It's free, it's adaptable, changeable, teamable, tweakable, and we can do anything with it. It's, it's great. So, using a graphical interface, which means click, 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 enter, done, you have, after 15 minutes, a system, an operating system. In this case, a very minimal one, Arch D. Decide if you want to update Arch Linux mirrors, so you can have quicker updates and installations. Run Gparted if you want to clean out um, partitions on your hard disk that has Ubuntu or has Solus or anything else on it. And then run Calamars to install basically the operating system. Choose a language. Just for future reference, we're using this one. At this point in time, 3.2.34 exists already. Next. Decide if you need another Linux kernel. Maybe you know already, oh yeah, because of my webcam, I need to install Linux LTS, otherwise it won't work. Skype won't work and so on. Teams won't work, etc., etc. Right? Next, decide if you want Bluetooth support, don't have that, okay, fine, do not install it, and so on. Next, and here comes come the choices. You need to choose something here, right? You need to have a login manager, a display manager, one of them. We use by default LightYM. It is themed, it is tweaked, it is our thing. It's our Arclinux LightYM GTK greeter. It's gonna be nice with our wallpapers all right and then we go for next so the thing is i've already decided in my mind that i'll do option one right i'm clicking these things and gnome and gnome extra are groups it doesn't mean that i'm gonna install one package it means i'm gonna install 50 60 packages so this is like just the same some numbers right 30 and this is 30 so it's a group and if you want to know why not include the knowledge right if you want to know arch linux gnome what does it include mm, group we're missing group for google to find it group details how many are there i don't know i'm not gonna count there's no numbers in front of it but this will be installed if i type in sudo pacman minus s gnome all of this comes down okay cool or not cool if it's not cool you'll have to say sudo pacman minus s baobab one of them right and so on and so on so that's the the fun here actually uh, need to take a little bit more time here actually here Arch Linux takes away your freedom. If you type sudo pacman minus s gnome, it's their preference. It's what they think you would like to have as gnome. But if you say epiphany, a gnome web browser based on WebKit rendering engine, you say, oh my God, not my thing at all. Well, then you have to do it separately. You have to type sudo pacman minus s baobab. Want that? Okay, cheese. Take photos. Well, why not? I of GNOME, no, I rather like Nomax, so won't install EOG. Epiphany, pff, out. Events is for document viewer, PDF viewer, maybe like something else. File roller, and so on and so on. You have to make your decisions then on your own. Very detailed, Lego block per Lego block, not group per group, but that's up to you. So we said, okay, let's, let's just get the groups in and if you don't want a group, you just click here. The group of GNOME Extra is not gonna be in there. We could have a look, quick look. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe we can just use this URL and type extra behind it. And there it is. So this is all the extras. Do we want GNOME Glotsky? 
do you know Gnome Majong? I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but Gnome Mines, etc. etc. So it seems to be more a game kind of thing, but Deconf Editor is not a game thing, and it is important for us developers and in general users as well, because we are in full control if we have this application. Deconf Editor. Both for Gnome interesting, for Budgie interesting, for Cinnamon interesting. So, gonna follow what I say here. Again, choices, right? Somebody taking away your freedom. Somebody saying, I suggest these things. If you say Guake, I don't like Guake, click, right? But freedom, if you really end into freedom, then it, I suggest you use option two and use scripts. Then you can really define what you want or not want. So we keep on clicking. The more you click, you know, the more you download, the more you install, the more you need to be patient because internet, if internet is there, you need to download it, you need to install it, so it takes time. Patience is required. <laughs> Patience is optional. No, no, no. Patience is required. Next. And off we go. Next, next. So, option one. That was our thing here in the video. Let's talk about option two. So, <coughs> later on, I'll do a mirror, I do an update, I enable LightDM, I do a scale and a pseudo reboot. Cool, we know what to do. Option two is not clicking anything inside Calamaris and say, whatever, I'll do it later. And you get the most minimal OS there is, with seven packages of Arco Linux and 670, I think these days, of Arch Linux, right? Seven divided by 670, that's the percentage. All right, we mirror, we update, and this is something else. We are going to get scripts. Git clones, you can translate it like copy-paste. We are gonna copy-paste something from the internet to your system. Arch Linux D has all the desktops and here's Arco Deeping. And all you have to do is git clone it, so copy paste it. It's gonna be on your system. You run this one, you run that one, you run this one, and you end here with 800. You sudo reboot and see what you get. And next time you say, hmm, it was an interesting experience, but this 200 is installing something I don't want. I'm gonna delete variety, for example. And all of this goes out. Just delete bunch and it will not be installed. Right? And it's, it's just a list with applications. If you want Visual Studio Code, you have to type it here. Or Code, there's another application called Code. And so on and so on. Lists of graphics, internets. I do like my Brave or my Tor browser and so on. Add them to the list and it will be installed. But it should be, well, start with this, right? Change it, make an account on GitHub, push it back, and you can do exactly the same thing as we're suggesting here. The difference will be the name. It will be your account. I have also GitHub slash Eric Dubois slash something, right? So it's possible to have a free, as it may be important to say, GitHub is free. And it is an interesting way to share also data, to have backups and all that. And come to think of it, if we go to arcmixd.com, right, start here, it's all explained. We suggest that you make backups on GitHub, not only backups, but it's easy, quickly to install. It's a backup system, you can sync, you can share with other people. People often ask each other, hey, how did you do, did you do that? Do you have a configuration file? And just say, here it is, it's in GitHub. Right? Communicate with others, etc. etc. More visibility. Alright. So a short way explaining um, go get an account. These are old old images. I suppose they will change over time. But create an account and then uh, follow the tutorial. In the meantime, we're there already. Okay, cool. And then 
you just keep on reading this code. It's not that difficult. It's also obvious what this will do. Install sound, install Bluetooth printers. Okay, so it's still um, readable what it will do. Other things you actually need to go inside and say, okay, what will be installed here? Oh, MinStick. MinStick is coming from Linux Mint and it's our USB thing. It writes all my ISOs, thousands ISOs I've written with USB image writer from MinStick from Linux Mint on a USB, go to the SSD, boot up and install. It just works. But there are other utilities, right? Etcher is also a good one. Peak animated GIFs, downgrade, Inc, Pamic, AOR. Do you want all of these? It's entirely up to you. Decide it, change it. And the last thing I would like to say, because I guess we'll be going into GNOME almost, then we have some time. 500 and 600 are the things that are important to get the heart and soul of Arco Linux. Things that we like and love are in here. And definitely number 600, that's all the hard work of three, four years of all the developers, right? I seem to be going on the deeping, which doesn't matter. Uh, so we're talking about GNOME, it's all similar. It's super similar. But of course, in number 600, we won't be installing deeping. We will install GNOME stuff. That's what we wanted to show you, right? So a list of things that we need to have a workable system. We have variety here. The tweak tool is here, root is here, hblock is here, bin is here, stuff that's we know from experience that you asked, hey, Eric, there's no dot bin on your Arclinx D. No, it's the most minimal there is. If you want it, you install it, the dot bin. And let's um, show you that. Um, let's do, yeah. Let's show you that in the system, the future system in GNOME. If I don't forget. The bin folder, Eric, the bin folder, the bin folder. Okay, <clears throat> so option one, what they, do they say? Well, login, right? Since we do not know what you chose as display manager, could have been, yeah, could have been lots of things. Pseudo system CTL enable SDDM, was it that? Was it GDM? Was it SLXDM? Or did you go for Lightium? That's what it was, right? That's out of the way. But officially on the document it says, do you think you need an error, a new mirror? Let's have a look. I have Osbeck as a winner. The first line is Osbeck, and I know that Osbeck is a great server. So I'm not gonna type mirror or mirror S, mirror D, mirror A, any of the aliases. I know I can do update and it's gonna work just fine fast enough for me. Look at the numbers in the second column. Ah, cool, right? I pay for 45 megabytes, uh, megabyte, yeah, per second. All these strange things there, disabling key, Arch Linux keyring, remember. If you're not updating daily and you're history hopping and three months ago you installed that Linux, you might get issues with keys. First install sudo pacman minus s arch linux dash keyring, then update. All right, it's gonna take the time it takes, you know. When you build an ISO, it's an image frozen in time. And if you're new to arch linux and arch linux, well, we have a lot of updates. If that's gonna be an issue, bandwidth uh, wise or uh, your internet service provider does not provide you with uh, a fast download or the volume, then maybe there are other Linux systems out there because Arch Linux does push out a lot of updates. I just made a uh, calculation in uh, previous videos 
we have eight kernels per month. So assuming uh, four weeks a month, two kernels a week is not abnormal in Arch Linux. And we're used to it. But other people coming from somewhere else might not be. Yes, finished. So we enabled LightDM already. The question is, do we need a scale or not? Um, that's the question. We can do it or not do it. What is, an, what is scale all about? It's about backing everything up. That's the first bit. And then you see this, these uh, two ampersands there. Copy minus RF etc scale, everything in there, copy to the home directory. What if we do not do that? Because everything that we create is often in the etc scale, not always, but often in the etc scale. So the Arch Linux stuff, the heart, the soul, is there. Without the scale, it's gonna stay there, which is interesting. And we explain this actually in this article. Maybe we should have a quick look, right? You can enjoy a virgin Arch Linux look. At some point in time, we re we wrote completely the Arch Linux D scripts. And I don't know if GNOME is here, but you see already the differences, right? So after script 100, after script 500, this is an Arch Linux look. This is our look. This is uh, Plasma Alex GNOME. Here you have it, GNOME, right? This is the look from Arch Linux. This is our look and another wallpaper. Well, every now and then we want to change our wallpaper. <laughs> All right, um, we're still in live user. So let's restart. This is because I was not there, right? I was not there during the selection to tell him not to go to number one, but go to number three, boot existing OS. Just wanted to show you how much fun it can be, how strange it looks, Cinnamon, from the beginning and after all we've done. So basically we're rising a desktop, making it our own, our look, right? We have some kind of look based often on the Arc theme and the Sardian servant icons. So this is it. Yeah, sure. So this is Arch Lex. The look is cool or not cool. Entirely up to you to, to think what's cool and not cool, right? Escape, back out of here, right mouse click, change background. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. I've done another video about Budgie and Budgie and Gnome are together. I took this one, which is nice, but there's also this one and so on. You can go for the, let's see, our next the tweaks tool. And in the tweak tools, maybe it loads. We can say, hey, take this icon, take that cursor and so on. Unless there's a problem with the tweak tool at this point in time, I guess so. Um, but we can show you one thing more. So this is without sound because I did not install the sound service. So if you think, hey, why is that? Well, it's an Arch D, right? It's minimal and we selected some things, but not all of the services that's before the desktop before the light M, we decide you want bluetooth you want all um, bluetooth or, or samba and it's that screen right where you decide what to install now suppose and that gives me an in <laughs> about option two suppose you say look i want to install more i want to use these scripts of option two let me explain that one as well so suppose you want to add more stuff to this environment with a right control F4, I'm in a TTY. Later in real metal, it's control alt F4, right? 
and we are working in virtual machine inside TTY and we just type what it says there on the website basically remember that we're on github remember that we are starting with Arco links D and that's it that's all we need to remember the rest is Arco something I'm gonna install Arco DWM right I'm gonna install Arco GNOME if I type it correctly it's gonna work CD Arco GNOME LS now the point is it depends what system you're on what desktop you start with plasma is gonna be super complete right xfc is also rather complete it depends actually on what these guys do these guys arch linux if there is no pulse audio is there is no sound in here well you won't have sound simple as that is there sometimes you don't see the um, package and it comes in anyway that's a dependency right so then it's cool that's okay then it's installed but sometimes well you have to figure out what lego blocks am i missing basically and you can even start with number 100 if you want to because the way we've built it come on the way we've built it it just skips everything you see green 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 means it's already installed it's already installed it's already installed so you can't break anything and this is skipping 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 it's already all installed so nothing is done gnome tweaks it's already installed and you can go on and for instance this sound thing 120 green green but not all is green you see some of them are green some of them are not green so now we're getting all the rest in so that everything works ls do you want bluetooth didn't say to it do you want let's do number 600 right heart and the soul green 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 a few things more right it's not it's choice you go via calamars and you'll get a environment never 100 percent the environment of acrylics be gnome it's not our intention to make copy paste what would be the fun in that having Arclinx D Gnome and Arclinx B Gnome exactly the same thing? No. So it's it's basically choose more, be more flexible, have more freedom, and change these scripts, right? Change them, please change them the way you see fit. You want to have some more fonts in there. Done. Yep, they're installed. It's not green. Those two are installed, you see? So Noto, for instance, is one of them that I like. That's on all our systems, basically. But there are more fun stuff like Tamsin, Fontaire, and so on. All right, let's do it SR. And let's go in for a last time to have a look at our GNOME that you need, need to tweak and to rise further. What do I want to have? So don't want to see this anymore auto start is gone and quit f12 is working oh that's nice we like our f12 at some point in times a few months ago we launched it and we want it everywhere now on our desktops so it's quickly in the way out of the way that's nice so we have our look that's different some icons that are different we could have a look at tweaks, but that will take us too far away to do the tweaks thing. Ah, it's working now. So one of the dependencies probably that was missing. So you see it all matters, it all matters. And I wanted to go here to change some of the things, right? You can change here the icons, you can change the cursors. Maybe let's do that, amber, amber cursor. The article wallpaper is here, the lock screen as well and so on lots of things to still change and have fun with install more themes and you'll have more choices let's do that one so the pacman minus s arco linux arc themes enter 21 megabyte but unpacked 184 megabytes 
how about the two week S appearance arc dark oh my god right let's take a takao dark obviously this has been changed and it fits actually the cursor right it's still a work in progress and that's the fun make a rise your system and see what you like and change what you don't like working with Arcanix D gives you the full freedom and with that said I will leave you all right cheers